Hello there, everybody. Uh, the name's Wurdertok, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Now, this is the episode two. Um, as you can, if you look back at my previous videos, I have only done episode one. I have not done any other episodes of this game, so I'm going into it completely new. I don't know what to expect. As you can see from the previous one, we've had a few bits and pieces of what to expect. Um, yeah, so I do want to apologise for there not being a video out, uh, when this video out is either, um, it is either the, uh, hold on a moment, 27th, I believe? Yes, 27th of August. Um, if this comes out on the 28th, I apologise for not having a video out on the 27th, but I wasn't feeling that good today, so, yeah. You, you came here to watch a video of a game, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up, and we're gonna go into it. We're gonna go into episode two. We'll see what actually happens, because I have no idea what's going on, I don't know what to expect. I know in the next, this one we're starving, and we are, yeah, here we go. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. And I'm back. I uh, I didn't want to spoil any of that. Um, so yes, we are going into this. We were last in a. Oh, I'll probably. There we go. One less zombie. God, he kicks ass. Damn. Hello. What'd they get this time? Looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbits hardly Fair a enough. meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all Hello, home. Mark. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. <laughs> We're all on That's <laughs> Carly for you. Cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Hopefully Kenny has. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been yeah. talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Really? Uh... He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going yeah. off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, because he's an ass. Uh... Larry's just... Uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. 
Yeah, true. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, I kind of did. Um, yeah, it's actually... I wonder if we could get that bird. Huh. Yeah, Mark's got the right idea. Take this shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Oh. Let's go save Kenny. Kenny, we're coming for you, buddy. Find Kenny. Ooh! Jesus Christ! Oh shit! No, no! Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave. I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off! Get it off! God damn it! Get, get it off me! Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck uh, is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My go dad on. was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Ooh, zombie. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Yeah. Oh no. No zombies. They were attracted by the gunshot. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Okay. There's got to be something we can do. Please, do something. Just get me out, please. When oh, blood and screaming, we're going to be surrounded any minute. Please. Okay, it's... Get me out. He's going to get so much blood already. Please, hurry up. There we go. Hurry. Please, hurry. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. This can't be happening. It doesn't look like we can break through it. Try. We're not cutting through that. This is bad. This is so bad. Uh, I'm sorry, dude. Oh god. I'm gonna have to cut you out. Damn it, no, no, no. cut up his fucking Try the trap leg. again. Anyway, you don't have time please. for that. I'm sorry. We have to cut I'm now. sorry, buddy. Ooh.
bash it with a rock, Larry. Yep, that'll do it. Okay, back at camp. Oh, Clementine. God, they're, they have absolutely nothing. Are we coming through? Is it us? I honestly hope it is. Oh, if it isn't us, they're gonna have some. Get the gates open! Ah. We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell are they doing? Hey, so time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, uh... I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Okay. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. Yeah. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. <laughs> Dad, really? please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Oh, well, Larry seems to be in fine spots. This is easy for me. Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Well then. Thank you. Alright. I don't know if everyone's people have got to go hungry. Uh, I know the kids need to have food. Uh, my priority is the kids, actually, because they need to eat. Come on, Hey, Clem, you need something to eat? Uh, I will give her the apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Right, you. Give you food. Hey, 
How about a little food? Uh, I will give you, um, the jerky. Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! Uh, I will also... She's on lookout, so she needs food. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Yeah, certainly. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. Wow. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Yeah. She doesn't look right without her hat. Give her food. Here. Back in a bit. No, no. No, no. Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Uh, oh, some save some now. Some gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Okay. Um. Oh gosh, who do I? Who do I give it to? Actually, I'm going to give it to you. Want something to eat? Back in a bit. No, no. I keep pushing the wrong Want something to eat? button. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Here we go. Right. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, <laughs> Didn't see I guess it. some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. No. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're I mean, one because to talk, you... old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. All right, let's have a t let's have a talk with everybody now. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Yeah. Drugstore? Yeah. What should we do about the kid? If uh, the it kids were up need to me, to... I'd let him stay for a while, see if he proves to be an asset. But that's up to Lily, and with her in charge of the food, I don't want to get on her bad side. Sorry I ran out before I could give you any food. Hey, don't feel bad. I'd almost rather starve than eat most of that stuff. Besides, you've done plenty for me already. Yeah, kind of, but... But yeah. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. Um... Oh, do we leave for the coast? Or should we stay here? Huh. Let's, let's go with the coast. This does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Alright, so I'm going to go with him. So, Duck. How you doing, Duck? I'm 
Okay, me and Clementine are coloring. Guess oh, what good. it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? <laughs> no. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Bye, Duck. Hello, Clem. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. Yeah, of course, it's okay, fine. Then. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, <laughs> you take good care of it then. I will. Yeah, go look after these things. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? Um... I'm not sure. I hope he will. Yeah, I really hope so as well. Let's talk to this. Hey, Let's talk to Ben. Gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Um, so, so who, who are, are you? you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker. The band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. Yeah. Uh, How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help. You know, some kind of, I don't know. Yeah. Something. Uh. You'll be prepared next time. Next time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Well, as normal as you can without without a leg. Let's talk to Lily. Uh, Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now, and it's working. But now... We should it's talk you about and you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice mm -hmm. that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny... All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. Right. So that was, that was nice and refreshing. It's all to you. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Yeah, certainly. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing. But Lee, this man has no leg. Uh... I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Yeah. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry I cut off your leg. Let's either that or turn into a zombie. Uh, let's have this pleasant conversation. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Uh, Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hey. You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. yeah. I just hope Kaja can save him. Uh, you ever miss the Air Force? Oh, I didn't know was used in the Air Force. This wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. 
You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Mm. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Yeah, she pretty much Listen, is. I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Yep. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Sure. Here, this should help. Try not to make too much noise. Though. Yeah, yeah, we're not stupid. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal will make anybody cranky. Ch oh, ch Ken, Lee, come here, please. Okay. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Uh. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Come on, come on. Get over the damn way. Damn it, I have it. Come on. Fuck. No, no. Get, out, get away from me. Come on. Ow. Uh, come on. It's all about the clicking, guys. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Wow, I did not expect him to Why be didn't bit. You tell us he was bitten. What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. Okay. Why is it? You come then? back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Ah. We're all infected? Everyone? I I guess so. I don't know. I all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding oh. out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Yeah. Dumb. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Mm. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up. Ah, the road. that's nice. Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Ah. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Uh... You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, 
You give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. Yeah. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Good. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Yeah, that's cool. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Yeah, it Personally, kind of is. I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. <laughs> you think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and yeah. asked me about it. True. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Uh. You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went True. to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen yeah. situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, True. Uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh, I'm up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Oh. Uh. Uh. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Ooh. Uh. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, Ooh, we got a... plenty of food, <clears throat> and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, <clears throat> I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy so for Donald. as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a Yeah, you know what? More we ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. Yeah, that's a good goal. They move on. Fuck you! Ooh! <laughs> Wow. The world out here has gone to shit. <laughs> Just, on, wow. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Just Wow. Okay. Ha. Huh. God, this episode's so long. I'm sorry about this guys, but hopefully I'll, I'll be able to stop Air it soon. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. Yeah, a lot of fences and everything. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Nice. Uh. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John. Hello. And welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. Huh, thank I got you. a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Yeah. 
Mm. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Yeah, it's been made it quite good. Here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Mm. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Ah. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? We have a vet? Oh, oh wow. yeah. Um, our prayers have been answered. Kenny's wife. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Uh, somehow these people why are too nice. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Yeah, see you both in a bit. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, very good we need that's to very figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see. Mm. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Yep, will do. Okay, okay that's an incredibly long episode, guys. Sorry that it took so long, but there's just so much dialogue that we had to get through. Okay, um... Thank you all so much for watching, guys, for this for this uh, part one of episode two. Now, I will see you all in the next episode. Take care.